Hello everybody. Um, I've been wanting to write a blog for a few weeks now, but life just won't seem to slow down for me, so I'm going to do this instead. Plus it gives you an opportunity to meet, meet little Miss Taylor. Say hello, Taylor! Um, we just got back from Canada, which was amazing. We were on, or I was on 100 Huntley Street, which is a Christian talk show there, and I'll put a link to that in the blog right after this video. It was very cold. We got stranded in Chicago on the way back, but uh, it was me, Adam, and Taylor, and we had such a good time, and the people there were just so wonderful. It was such a blessing to be on that show. We intended to take a drive to Niagara Falls, but it was I was too tired. It was an hour away, and we just decided we didn't feel like dragging Taylor for two hours in the car. So we didn't go to Niagara Falls, but they were very interested in having me back when I released my next book which I'm thinking about and working on right now. So hopefully that'll happen in the near future. I don't know if you know this, but I freelance for a site called allparenting.com and they just published an article of mine on bullying where I talk about uh, what social bullying looks like and how it showed up in my life and I think it's a really important thing to read if you have kids or if you're around kids. So I'm going to paste a link to that underneath this video also. Please do give it a look and share it around if you think somebody else could be encouraged or helped by it. And the last thing I wanted to do, which I, I really, if I would sit down and take time to write this, it could be a really cool blog, I think. But I recently our church made a change in how they serve communion. Well, they've made a few changes. First of all, we serve communion every week. And second of all, recently they started having us pick up a piece of bread and dip it in wine and, and take communion right there at the altar. And that's a little difficult for me. Usually I could have um, Adam grab the communion and take it back to my seat, or uh, I could grab it out myself and take it back, but I, I can't uh, stand up and eat something at the same time. I can't reach my mouth. So, actually the first week I knew that they had instituted this new practice, I stayed home from church because I didn't know what to do about communion. I knew that I wouldn't be able to feed myself and I was really embarrassed to walk up and have somebody else feed me in front of that whole congregation of people. So I just didn't go that first week. The next week I went ahead and went and they had people kind of walking about through the congregation giving um, giving communion to the people who couldn't make it out to the front. I was sitting with Taylor, so I had an excuse. So I took communion from that person. This last week, uh, my mom had Taylor was walking around with her, and I just felt like, this is silly, that I feel so nervous about communion. So I decided to just go up, and I asked Adam to feed it to me, and it was embarrassing. I'm not going to lie, because it's just embarrassing to have somebody else feed you. But... I didn't miss the fact that this was, it was a big moment for me, first of all because I was just swallowing my pride and, and that's always a huge important thing. But secondly, I think it's meaningful that the body of Christ, that his sacrifice for me and the healing power in the communion was being communicated to me through the hands of my husband. It went directly from the cup to my mouth from his hands. And I think that is meaningful. I think that's a good picture of what a husband is for. He's to love his wife like Christ loves the church and to give himself for his family in that way. And I'm defined, you know, the, in, in my role as a wife, I find purpose in his presence, and I find healing in his presence, and so anyway, um, I'm sure if I sat down and wrote this, it would be a lot more eloquent and maybe even more meaningful, but I just wanted to share that with you, and I think that, you know, it happens a lot that the body of Christ is communicated to us through another person, and other person's in perfect hands that may not look really anything like Christ, but he's using them to speak to us and to renew our hearts. So, as you go about your week, keep your eyes out for that person that might be giving you the bread of life when you don't even know it.
have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.